becoming a Navy SEAL requires a lot of mental discipline. You gotta make sure you can do all the basic physical stuff because when it starts coming down to the mental stuff, if you haven't got that physical stuff, it's just gonna deteriorate that mental stuff much sooner, much faster. Do you have the courage to start? Do you have the commitment to finish? And do you have the clarity of vision, seeing exactly what you've got to get done, that you're going to stick it out no matter what? This great quote that I got was, a man can only be beaten in two ways, if he gives up or he dies. And that was the level of commitment I had. One of the most important parts of Bud's was finishing first phase. But to finish first phase, you have to finish hell week. Get down in the mud, start crawling. Get in the mud. To go for six days straight, no sleep, or very little, I don't remember sleeping, let me put it that way. Going night and day, and during the day, they burn you up. At night, they freeze you out. They're constantly pushing you all the time. Get your butt up here, all the way up to the rock. I'll tell you, I had, a, I had this tear, you know, my eyes welled up, and I was like, man, I can't believe, I can't believe I did it. Hellwick is the opportunity to actually start testing yourself and getting yourself ready for SEAL Team. The hardest workup I ever had to do was getting ready for a winter warfare platoon. Being in those Arctic temperatures, sometimes minus 65 degrees below zero, and you're learning how to ski, and you're skiing 20 miles at a time with sometimes a 100-pound pack on your back, that's a lot of weight. You're moving up and down mountains, and uh, it was just tough. It was tough. The major discipline that you have to have as a sniper is patience, and that was really hard for me to develop. And I didn't realize I was such an impatient guy. But I made a shift. There was this slow but really intense connection I had to what I was doing. My connection to the land, to the terrain, my connection to the target. When you're talking about uh, shooting a rifle, I could be shoot saving my buddy's life. Me taking out that one guy, that adversary, that enemy, whatever you want to call him, bad guy, that could make a difference in whether my guys get home to their families. I was a very small kid, and uh, I, you know, I, I took my fair share of beatings. And I wanted to develop uh, the capacity to take care of myself. It was all about being able to stop that guy. And then becoming a certified hand-to-hand -hand combat instructor in SEAL Team is a very challenging course, which you have to do twice, 30 days straight, no time off, just beating the heck out of each other for 30 days straight, guys busting up their necks, blowing out their knees. It's a tough course. And I just loved it. I just loved that, that ability to go into a situation and knowing physically you can handle yourself. Becoming a Navy SEAL, I got to look deep inside myself and see how far I could actually go. And if I'm still kind of functioning at this game, imagine what else I could do in life.